you're going to experience your own very personal fire show. You're going to experience your own very personal fire show. God tells us that salvation is. Stay um, there. Stay there. You're fine. He's, 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 the word all means everybody. You have sinned against the Holy God. You've broken God's law. You've broken God's Ten Commandments. And the breaking of God's law means that you're under God's wrath, and you're under God's condemnation, you're under God's judgment. The Bible tells us in the book of James that if you've broken one of God's Ten Commandments, you've broken them all. And the penalty for breaking God's law is hell, hell, hell. Now some of you, within a few short minutes, you're going to see what's called the fire show. You're yeah. going to see a fire show. This fire show is a dress rehearsal. This wow. fire show is a yeah. picture. This fire show is a type. This fire show is a commercial. So what many of you, within the sound of my voice, wow. are going to experience in the future. Many of you within the sound of my voice, you're going to experience your own very personal fire show. You're going to experience your own very personal fire show. The only thing is, folks, you're not going to be able to come and go from that fire show because your own personal fire show is going to go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever your own personal fire show in hell is never going to end it's going to be everlasting torments everlasting judgment in a place called the lake of fire the lake of fire which burns with fire and brimstone which is the bible says the second death and many of you within the sound of my voice are going to experience that second death, your own personal fire show. Fire insurance. You can get yourself some fire insurance so you avoid your own personal fire show in a terrible place called hell. You say, preacher, where can I get this personal fire insurance to avoid my own personal fire show in a place called hell. You can get your own personal insurance, your own insurance policy, so that you don't have to experience your own personal fire show in a terrible place called hell. And that's by trusting the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel is the good news. The good news is, is that Jesus Christ who is God, he came into this world to save sinners. Jesus died on that cruel, rugged cross for your sins, for my sins, for the sins of the whole entire world. When you get born again, you won't even want that anymore. You see what I'm saying? It's a power. I do give it power. But I believe that God loves me regardless. God hates all workers and iniquity. God abhors every God loves me regardless. You're under the wrath of God. Let me tell you something. God loves me. The God that you made up in your own life. I don't pray. Your God's imaginary. My God? Your God's imaginary. My God loves me all day. Your God is imaginary. You need Jesus to save you from the right true God for your dying sins. Make sure you read the Word. You know what I'm saying? Get in the Word. That You're is gonna your burn fire, fire insurance, folks, that every single one of you need. Now, everybody within the sound of my voice, if you have a home, if you have an apartment, you probably have insurance on your home or your apartment because you know that your home can catch on fire. And if your home catches on fire, 
the insurance policy is going to cover the burning down of your home. Well, folks, you need a personal insurance policy, and that's the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not by the blood of bulls and goats, that's but it's right. by his precious blood that he shed on that cruel, rugged cross for your sin, for my sin, and for the sin of the whole entire world. That's why the Bible of the Word of God tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that's Jesus, that whosoever believes on him, that's Jesus, should not perish, that means to go to hell, but will have everlasting life, that means to go to heaven. The Bible tells us that God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, that's Jesus Christ, might be saved. And what does God want to save you from? God wants to save you from your own personal fire shell in a terrible place called hell. Free, you can be free indeed. Only Jesus Christ can break the chains of sin in your life. For many of you, within the sound of my voice, you don't want the chains of sin broken in your life. You love your sin. The Bible tells us that you drink sin like it's water. Yeah. And that sin in your life, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, will never bring any lasting happiness or pleasure. Just like Troy Aikman, former quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, once said after he won the second Super Bowl, he said, is this it? Is this it? Sports and entertainment never brings any lasting happiness. Somebody once asked John Nelson Rockefeller, who was once one of the richest men in the world, how much money is enough money? He said, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. The things of this world will never satisfy. So the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things, and it's desperately wicked. The Bible says you have a deceitful, wicked heart. And you need a heart transplant. You don't need the type of heart transplant that you can get at UCLA Medical Center. You need a spiritual heart transplant that can only come above, only comes from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can change your heart. He can change your life. He can give you a new heart. A new heart that wants to read God's word and obey God's word and do God's word. In fact, the Bible says that anyone that names the name of Christ will depart from iniquity, not to live in sin, but to follow God's word and to obey God's word. That's what the Bible says. The heart is deceitful above all things, and it's desperately wicked. you got a wicked, deceitful heart that needs to be changed. Oh, sinner, turn to Jesus Christ and be born again. Water. There was a universal flood that covered this entire world. In fact, the Bible tells us that the world is covered with water several feet above the highest mountains. The question is, is why would a holy God flood this entire world and destroy every living creature upon this earth except for Noah and his three sons and their wives? The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis that God destroyed this entire world because the heart of mankind was evil continually. The heart of mankind was evil continually. The Bible tells us that this world was filled with violence. This world was filled with violence. This world was filled with wickedness, the Bible says. And this and this world is nothing different than what happened during the days of Noah. In fact, the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be during the coming of the Son of Man. And just as God destroyed this whole entire world with a worldwide flood, so God is going to destroy you with the flood of his judgments. Just as God destroyed this whole entire world with a worldwide flood, 
God is going to destroy you with the flood of his judgment. As you're watching this water show, let it be a reminder to you of a worldwide flood when God destroyed this entire world with a Genesis flood. And the only people that escaped that flood was Noah and his three sons and their wives. God told Noah and his three sons and their wives to get onto the ark. And God shut the door of that ark. And seven days later it began to rain and there was a worldwide flood. And the only deliverance from the flood, the Bible says, was Noah's ark. And Jesus Christ is the ark. Jesus Christ is the ark of deliverance. He is the only one that can deliver you from the wrath of a holy God. Oh, sinner, you need to turn to Jesus Christ. You need to get into the ark of Christ's righteousness. In fact, the only way you could get into that ark was through the door. And no one is three sons and their wives. They enter through that door. And Jesus Christ, he is the door. He is the door of deliverance. And he's the only one that can set you free. The Bible says that the Son can set you free. You can be free indeed. You can only be delivered from the wrath of the Holy God by turning to Jesus Christ and by being born again. The Bible tells us that salvation is of the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn from your sin and turn to Jesus Christ and be born again. The Bible tells us he who believes in the Son which Jesus Christ has everlasting life. He who does not have the Son, the Bible says, does not have life, but the wrath of God abides upon him or her. You're, if you're here today and you don't know Christ is your Savior, God's wrath is hanging over your head, and it's going to fall upon you, just like the Genesis flood fell upon this entire world. Just as that Genesis flood fell upon this entire world and drowned every living creature, let this water show be a reminder to you that a holy God is going to judge sin someday. The first time God judged this world with water, the second time he's going to judge it with fire. Fire. Well, sinner, you need to avoid the wrath of the Holy God and turn to Jesus Christ 